everybody. How's a little late? Hey, Amanda, how are you? Okay, I need to shut off my television here, guys. I'm on live. So anyway, hey everybody. So we're going to, I'm sorry, I had a, did you just put this over here? And my stuff? Anyway, so we're getting ready to uh, make that mailbox swag. Um, I got these for the flower arrangements. So, I greatly appreciate it if you've lost my page. There is a King Sumo, um, I know, SEO stuff, I know. Uh, there is a King Sumo um, giveaway running because we hit 3,100 followers. Um, I am putting together a um, patriotic giveaway. It's going to have quite a bit. Hi, Carla, thanks for joining. Uh, quite a bit in there, so, but I'd like to get to, I'd really like to really jump it up and get to the 5,000 mark, so I think the next giveaway will be 5,000, so if we can get up to the 5,000, uh, it's going to be probably a giveaway that's worth probably $50, so um, you guys can help me by spreading the love, I greatly appreciate it. Hi Daisy, thanks for joining. So, the other night, and there's a video on, um, I don't remember if I did that. Did I do that on Facebook or did I do that on YouTube? I can't remember. Thank you. But we made the rails. Um, I think I did it on Facebook. Pretty sure I did. So because we're having troubles with um, with YouTube. So anyway, I made my own rail and I put the gaps and cracks on there. Thanks, Stacy. I appreciate it. Hey, Karen. Thanks for joining. Uh, no, I'm not going to crafters convention, but I did buy a live stream ticket. I have to work so It's my weekend to be on call So I probably am not going to get to watch much of it that weekend But um, in case I am home then I want to be able to pop in so I'm excited Thank you Daisy for spreading the love. I appreciate it. I am uh, My goal is is that as soon as he releases for next year that I'm planning on signing up for that starting that payment plan right away So, I need to get over there and drink my water that I brought down here earlier today. Alright, so my customer loves, hi from Florida, I wish I had your weather. I guess it could be worse here today, but it's a little chilly. Um, I got my little heater going on back here. I don't know if any of you guys craft in a basement or a garage, but we got these heaters. I, I know you can't see it, but it's from Mr. Buddy. And uh, it's called Mr. Heater, and it's propane, and the big propane tank sits in the back of that, and it puts off some really good heat. We have several of them. So, hi, Lynn. Guess what we're making today? So, this is Lynn's. Lynn loves to decorate her mailbox, and I love that she loves to decorate her mailbox. So, Lynn likes curly cues and things that flop out of her things. So, I've got several things to put in there ice cold there Carl I bet um, it's not ice cold hi Fonda thanks for joining um, it's not ice cold here but um, you know could be worse all right so um, I'm going to add a little bit of um, stuff at the end of this one let me just see yeah so this is green and white Lynn loves this color. This was the color that attracted her uh, to my Christmas item. And uh, this like fluorescent apple green this is one of her favorites. So I'm trying to get into that. So anyway, so I'm going to leave a little tail here at the end of these. So I 
put um, my mesh on first. And I do have the mailbox back there to uh, let's stick this on there so it can get out of my way a little bit. Everything seems to be sticking to my clothes today. So I did um, work around. Uh, this is the ribbon I got for you. What do you think about that? I like that. And then I'm going to add some pink in there and yellow. So those are what we're going to do for ribbons, I do believe. So anyway. So then de-stashing. I got some Dollar Tree mesh on a de-stash de website. Hopefully it will sell. And uh, so I do about 10 10-inch poofs. I wish I could just run back to North Carolina because, like, I pulled out my um, patriotic stuff and I'm like, oh man, I probably should have bought that 50 yard roll of ribbon that had stars on it. You know, so. I don't know. I, I texted my friend Amanda, who's on here watching, to see if, um, Yes, I do add uh, pipe cleaners to it before I put the gaps and cracks on it. Yep, the video is, is on Facebook. I did that. I don't remember what night it was. Um, it's probably Tuesday night because I came to your house on Wednesday and I haven't been on a live since Wednesday. So it was probably Tuesday night because I went to Amanda's on Wednesday and we shopped a little bit and we did a live at her house from Grammy's Craft Boutique. She's my business bud. Her and I were two peas in a pod. Sometimes it's not even... Um, I just found a site and I stuck it on there. It's not a site. Um, I, I mean I just found my marketplace so that's where I put them. Um, if somebody is interested in them you can message me as well. I have like 125 rolls. <laughs> a lot. Um, um, I want a dollar each for them and then plus you have to pay for your shipping as well if you have to have it shipped to you. So I did not have any idea I had that much stuff. I did too. I had a lot of fun Amanda. So what we found out is that unfortunately her and I are both challenged when it comes to computers. So, hi Linda, but we try. We try to help each other out. Um, hopefully, one of us can get something and then help the other one through it. <laughs> hi Katie, how are you? So, so Gwendolyn, if you're interested in some of that stuff, I mean, you just might go to a marketplace. I don't know where you live at, but it's a marketplace local that I posted it. Um, I did a, um, Amanda sent me some de-stash site, a site I did log in, but they haven't accepted my thing. So, I don't know. I don't know much about Marketplace either, so. So, anyway, so, but there is a Kingston Will give Giveaway. Katie, have you done your thing? I think I forgot to put daily entries, but I forgot to do that. But, trying to grow the YouTube channel and Facebook. Again, like I said, the next giveaway will not be until we hit... 5,000 followers and um, I will do a $50 giveaway. The stuff will be $50. Thank you. We'll add up to $50. So um, it may even be like a gift card to um, to like um, Grammy's Craft Boutique for a sign. Maybe for uh, maybe one to Grammy's Craft Boutique and maybe something to Rachel's Crafty Corner for her wooden signs and then additional stuff that I have here too. So I'm trying to get rid of all my stuff that I won't use, don't use, not going to use. So um, I, I like if I'm going to use the smaller uh, mesh. Hi from North Carolina. Thanks. I was just there. Um, last weekend Sims Pottery but um, 
I um, I like the I like the mesh the the smaller mesh from Hobby Lobby. I don't know. I just like it. It's a little bit higher quality, and it really does what I want it to do on the wreath. So, so let's see. I'm going to cut that one down a little bit. Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks, Pat. I'm trying. It's been a hard day today. Weekends are really rough for me. Uh, not much. Even if I am working around here really hard for me not to munch on stuff so thank you I'm trying tomorrow is weighing so we'll see hopefully I uh, have lost some more that'll be good make me happy so Pinterest is giving me a hard time. Etsy's giving me a hard time. I did. I do have my stuff on sale, and uh, there's several spring things. Like last year's spring stuff is on sale in my Etsy store. So we'll see. Nothing that I made this year is on sale. Just last year's stuff. So um, I may uh, see how that goes. Um, Actually, I think it starts tomorrow, to be honest. Hi, Rach. How are you? So next weekend I'm on call. Um, like I said, I did get the live stream ticket, but I don't know if I get to watch it as it's going on. But the one thing about the live stream ticket is, is that you get to watch it even after the convention's over. So that's what I'm happy about. And I'm excited about the business day for the most part. So, I need to make some more muffins today. That's really my go-to thing. It's three points, and it really fills me up. It makes me feel like I'm eating something, and uh, so I like doing that. So I need to make some more of those. I need to go find some ripe bananas. I sent my husband to the store, and he said they didn't have any. I'm having a hard time seeing here. And uh, I'm like, oh, man, that's a bummer. So... Uh, the winner won't be picked until the end of the end of the March or not end of March, but the March 6th. So um, once you enter, you're in. Uh, if you subscribe to like the YouTube channel and the Facebook page, you get more points. So and I think even if you've already subscribed, it lets you redo it and gives you the points anyway or the yeah entries. That's the word. So. Yeah, it's running for at least a week. And then I'll post uh, the email, or I'll send out an email to whoever King Sumo picks. So what do you think, Lynn? Are you still on? Do you like this so far? I don't know if she's got plans today. She may not be able to stay on. Hi Hope, thanks for joining. Uh, 
I'm making a mailbox swag for Easter, an Easter mailbox swag. Thank you. This is for, it's, already, it's an order, it's already sold. My customer loves these colors too. So, and that's why I got these flowers for her to, for her, um, her husband's um, flower, floral arrangement. So, yeah. So, I'm not going to put the daisies in there, or the sunflowers in there, though. I pulled out some other flowers so that I can make it, um, it'll match some of the Easter stuff that I'm putting in there. All right, and then I'm going down the center as well. Boston, Massachusetts, thanks for joining, Pat. Um, I am in Illinois, Bedeld, Illinois. I'm actually not too far from Crafters Convention, so. I might be able to meet up with Rachel and some of the people that are coming to Crafters Convention. We'll see. It depends on if everybody's going to be here on Thursday. I probably can definitely meet with people on Thursday. But Friday, maybe not. Because I may be, you know, seeing a patient, doing an admission. Who knows what it could be. We are making a, um, I think I already, did I tell you this already? Looking good, thanks Lynn. And this is a mailbox swag. So, this is for Lynn. I'm loving it. not even really need any extra mesh. I'm liking it. I don't want to cover anything up. Do you? I like it. I think we might just be putting some ribbon in this. We'll see what it looks like. Thanks for joining. So this could be, I mean, like this is going to be a mailbox swag, but you could use, make this, use this method, recipe, whatever you want to call it. Um, use the rail, and this could be a table centerpiece. This could be a mantle on your fireplace mantle. It could go on a buffet. Um... I also use these for, um, on top of like headstones, I attach a hugger to them and put them on top of headstones. I don't, I think I'm gonna have to make something for my mom. I don't think, I don't think last year's made it. So, I'll have to look and see. Amanda sounds awful, Fonda. She sounds awful. Tell you, that family just can't catch a break. I did. I did attend it. Yes, it was very nice.
Thanks. I do too. They have a fall show. I, they don't have a summer one, but they do have a fall one. So. I need to remember to drink my water. All right, hang on one second. Amanda. All right, so I just use a bungee cord. don't want to work. I'm trying not to catch the mesh. Alright. Okay. You got me on the big screen now. Oh good. I'm glad. Alright. So let's go with Let's go with 22 inches. So, and we're going to do like a cruffle, kind of. You roll the couple times in. A woodland ruffle usually is longer, so it still could be a variation of the woodland ruffle, but they're usually like 30 to 36 or 37 inches when you cut them. don't make them while they're sitting on there but I thought I'd just show you guys a little bit so hi Annie how are you guys hi Lillian hi Maggie I normally make them right on the table but um, so many people have asked me about the mailbox swag so this has got gaps and cracks on the bottom so that whenever I put my embellishments in it, it's got something to adhere to. Because most people's mailbox um, mailboxes aren't um, protected from the weather or the wind. So hi Rachel, how are you? So you did some mod podging today, huh? I seen a little bit of the replay. I asked my husband, I was going to try and go live at 1 o'clock today. Huh. But he was down here working on the breaker box, trying to figure out what outlet went to what breaker. So, 
So that didn't work out. So and I've like rearranged my shelf is done. I'll have to take a picture of it and put it on Facebook. So he made me another wooden shelf. I've got my second ribbon rack actually made. So now he's got an idea to make a wider ribbon rack. Um, and now I've also told him I need him to make me like a a shipping station um, because if anybody else have problems with your boxes that you get to ship your stuff in what do you do with them where do they go they're just big and bulky you're loving the green I like it too we'll see how it's gonna work I'm hoping it's gonna be good I may not put one there because that's where the bow is going to go. I don't know. We'll see. I know this is one of your favorite colors. That's going to be bright. People are going to see your mailbox, girl. Just doing some Easter, Easter crafts. Yeah. I got a couple more Easter things to do. Um... I'm going to get this completed for Lynn and get her husband's um, floral arrangement done. That's my plan for today or this weekend. And then um, I just have a couple more things in my brain. So I'm not going to make a lot more because I made several already. I just need to get them posted. So... I think I put one in the back. Yep, I did. I'm loving that. So, let's see. We're going to have some buddy feet. Going to go in there. Look to see. I got several things, Lynn. <laughs> Who knows what's all going to end up in that thing. Lots of sparkle. Yep, you're all about the sparkle. I know you are. She's not a person for burlap. She likes she likes some bling. She likes sparkle and glitter. It was so funny. My husband was finishing that shelf, and I'm like, how did you get glitter on a shelf that hasn't even been, like, anywhere? <laughs> Glitter's everywhere. Glitter is everywhere. So... Tomorrow I have an eye doctor's appointment, so I'm hoping to get some new glasses. this one is I don't know it's like real metallic I don't remember what it's called because it doesn't say that on here it just says poly mesh so it is attached to a rail that I put um, gaps and cracks on on Tuesday night there's a video on Facebook It's a 22 inch rail and then I bent it to go over the mailbox. that answer your question, Annette? Yeah, maybe it is foil mesh. Yes. Thank you, Maggie. I couldn't think of the word for some reason. 
Always count on you to have that answer. You're always on top of it. Go ahead and cut a few of these. Only a guess. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you're right. I'm pretty sure. So it's like a butterfly. And I'm putting my curls downwards. It doesn't matter. It can go either way. I just happen to be, sometimes I put them up, sometimes I put them down. And on this particular project, I'm putting them down. You can do them either way. It depends on the look that you're wanting. I, yeah, I don't know. I my uh, sister-in-law has a mailbox that ha is enclosed in a. Um, so yeah, you could do that if there's any kind of hooks. Um, like if they can put hooks in the brick, absolutely, you could do that. I just don't know what kind of attachments people can get for their bricks, you know. But yeah, you could attach it to hooks on a brick, like people do on their brick homes or whatever. You know, That's a good idea. They make brick cooks. Well, isn't that amazing? I was looking for something to put in my siding because I know they make them, but nobody at Lowe's or Home Depot could because I wanted to hang my Christmas wreath like right on my siding and I couldn't find it. Find anything. So Rachel, are you painting today? Rachel Gatlin, are you painting today? You use them, Amazon has them. What are they called? I just don't, I was trying to explain that to the people at the holiday and they looked at me like I was crazy, which I probably am, but still. I'm loving the way this is looking. Loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm going to start adopting Kathy's philosophy from Santa Marta. 
she's like, I just figure out what I need to use the whole roll. Which is a very good idea. Because I have a whole basket of partial rolls over there. I'm going to dig them out and see what I can use because spring and Easter is a good time to like use a lot of different pastels and stuff. So I'm going to be digging that out. See what I can use in something spring. I have, I have two tubs worth of leftover stuff. So. Like Lori said, it becomes a problem with storing it, you know? It's not so much, it's like, I don't know. center ones, I do believe. We'll see. Final siding hooks. Well, how that's easy, right? Oh, thanks, Lynn. <laughs> I'm like making sure my husband wasn't texting me. really bad about like this would probably be good alternating this with another color but I don't know you love the fullness thanks Lynn
I've got, I don't have a mailbox, but I mean, I put stuff out on my parents' headstones. Um, I think they hold up okay. They're not, you know, it's, it's not perfect, but I mean, usually I use mine a couple of years in a row. I think I'm just going to take the bunny ears off of this. Um, when, how did your stuff hold up for, I think winter holds up a little bit better than summer just because the sunlight is different, but you know, I would think that it's about the same as, um, having them on your door, you know, if your door's not protected. This is where I need a pick machine. I think I am going to save my money and get one of those. Do you like the bunny ears? I love all these things. to that stick some of that stick back to that let's see let me see what I can do but anyway because look at this so like there's the bunny feet we could even use this as like the bunny tail right not cute getting all the I don't get all of them from your lives either Amanda like when you say stuff I don't I don't know if it's because like certain people are like your actual friends on Facebook I don't know what it is it's weird Facebook is weird
Now I'm, I'm going to be gluing these things in. I'm just kind of sticking them in now. Okay, and I'm going to add something to that one to make it longer. And probably a little bit of glue as well. So these are going to get, probably shouldn't have cut that one as short as I did. You know, live and learn, right? Live and learn. Um, but I do glue these in. Oh, that's sad. I hate when people think that you're ignoring them. But you see that all the time. Like, you see somebody's comment, like, I've had that, like, on Scott's, you know, I'm like, he'll say, somebody's saying that, you know, you don't see my comment, but I don't see their comment, but clearly he's still seeing it, but he's busy answering somebody else. It is crazy. I try to answer everybody that I possibly can. This tape is making me mad today. Christy, you're in, in pretty nasty rains. Well, we get them too, but you know, I, I would just say maybe try it with some one time and see what happens because they are just so darn cute. Aren't they, Lynn? They're just cute. Cute, 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 cute. Oh yeah, much better. And I may add a little bit to that one too just because I want the tail out just a tad bit more. Even though I cut that off, that was thin that I cut off of there. I want something thicker, so I can I can make this longer, but I want it thicker. So let me see about getting a wood piece. A wood piece for it, if I can figure out where I put them. I can use, I could use a skewer. Might work. Because it's not very um, thick, and I'm sure it will not last. Oh, I want to make you smile. You're worth making, making smile. Lynn's so sweet. She worried about my hands and brought me some lotion, and I always forget to use it. <laughs> But when I'm down here by myself, I don't forget. Oh, my hands are messy, I get them. All right, let's see, come on. Come on, Tate. Yes, this is for Lynn's mailbox. And then I have the, I have the foam already, Lynn. I'm gonna start. I'm going to sit down here and watch a Hallmark movie and work on your um, pieces for your husband's things. Thanks, Karen. Thanks, Rachel. There we go. How's the wreath holding up at church, Lynn? Now I might have to cut it off a little bit, but we'll see. So Lynn's the one that I made. Oh yeah, much better. The little bunny butts right there. Oh, I love it. What do you guys think? Like I said, I'm going to get some glue, make sure that those things are sticking up right. It is looking adorable. I love it, love it, love it. And then I'm going to stick some curly things in there. I don't really think, I think there's enough green. I don't really know about these, but I think these colors are going to be better when I think we'll, this is kind of like a little, um, fluorescent green. So we're going to stick some of these things in there yet. So around the bunny ears probably. Let's cut some ribbon real quick and see what we're going to do with that. I 
Thanks, Rachel. I still had some of Rachel's supplies down here. I almost thought, I'm like, did I forget a bag? Because I had stuck it along the side. I'm like, oh darn, those are Rachel's supplies that she's got. You agree, no more green? Good, I agree. And I can do a different color of ribbon, but I'm gonna put um, either yellow or pink behind this, so I think it'll be fine. Do you want me to do one first to see? Let's do one before I cut a bunch because I do have some yellow of this as well, I do believe. Let's just cut one and see. Let's just cut one and see how it's gonna look before we do the whole, the whole thing. And I'm gonna say yellow. Um, that was my dryer or my washer playing music telling me that the wa telling actually my husband. <laughs> Yeah, um, telling us that we uh, we need to finish the laundry. I think yellow is going to be good. We want something nice and bright. That pink's a bright, but it's not as bright as the yellow. Let's do yellow. Do -do -do -do. All right. I know, they are yours. I won't take them out. They're still in the bag. Actually, I put your ribbons inside the bag of mesh. So they're all together. I got my, um, my husband got my shelf built. So, and I'm starting to put stuff on it, getting a little more organized. Destashing. I like it. Can you see? Do you want me to zoom in a little bit? I can move the camera up and zoom in. I like it though. Can you see? I hope so too, Rachel. I hope maybe maybe you and I and Amanda can go out to eat or something on Thursday. Are you coming in on Thursday? Zoom in a little. Okay, let me see if I can. Let me double check, guys. This is a new. Oops, sorry. There we go. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit more than that. Be patient. It's going to be messed up. Hang on. What day are you coming in, Rachel? I know it's kind of hard to see the lighting's not all that great, but I think it's I think you're going to like it. Oh, Wednesday. That would be good. All righty. Why 
does that look like it's lopsided? I don't know. Oh, it is hanging down quite a bit over there. So let me check that out. I want to make sure it's even. So I may be having to move that stuff just a tad bit. I didn't realize how much more I had down on that other side. All right. We will readjust. Let's do that. That crazy how I didn't. How did I not see that? Not a big deal. That's why we put stuff everywhere. I want it to be centered on her mailbox. You guys get the idea. It's going to be centered. I'm just going to go ahead and put the, um, just because I'm going to have to, I want to put it, push it through the mesh. So, um, yeah, there we go. All right. So let's cut some ribbons. Do, 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 do. You trust me. <laughs> I like it. So. the pink or the blue. <laughs> so do you, would you rather have something different than the yellow behind it? I like the yellow. Um, It is, you know, yeah, it does. Everything in person is much better, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, how many times have you come and said, oh, it's even better in person, right? Yeah, that's just the way it goes. So that last call, Amanda, was somebody calling me from work. I didn't answer it. I'm not on call this weekend. I don't call nurses when I'm on call. Figure it out. That's <sighs> what makes my job so hard, is you don't get any days off. You really don't. Um, 
I actually did get like Thursday and Friday when I was driving. I didn't get any phone calls on those days, but as soon as Monday hit, I got phone calls. It's crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, that's for sure. And even sometimes when we take our pictures, I think that our cameras, I mean, I was just like having a meltdown with with the lighting over by my stuff. And my husband says, does everybody have this much, many problems taking photographs for Etsy? And I'm like, I know Amanda does. I don't know about anybody else, but my pictures just look dark and gray. And no matter different apps I've tried to get more lighting. At least she didn't text me, so. She's the one that taught me, actually. You don't want to deal with it, don't answer your phone. So, I don't want to deal with it, so I'm not answering my phone. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not on call this weekend, though, so I shouldn't have to answer my phone. So, and I'm not. Because I don't think she's calling me to chit-chat. So... So, all right. Yeah, um, well, Amanda's got a ring light, and it doesn't make a lot of difference there. So I, I think it's because I'm in my basement. I don't know. I've tried. I've got. I've got so many lights over there. You can't even believe it. I don't know. And ring lights are so dang expensive. They're expensive too. Oh, well, that's cool. So you did lives as well, Lynn, whenever you were crafting? Cool. to figure out what we're going to do for food. Are we going to cook? Are we going to go grab Subway? What are we going to do? I'm a tad bit aggravated. I didn't notice that that was lopsided before I put that stuff in, but it will be fine. I will make sure it's nice and even on each side before I glue stuff in. I'm loving that yellow. I don't remember if this came from, I think this one might have come from Deco, actually. For some reason my comments aren't scrolling. There we go. That's cool. That'll be awesome. Do 
it's amazing you know just doing the crafts is one thing but then you have to have all the different things to take pictures and everything else it's crazy there's the text message oh that's probably from you good glad it's not my co-worker <laughs> super glad oh i guess i should have to do the other side too huh crazy Don't forget to spread the love and also go check out my YouTube channel, Wreath Addiction RN. I greatly appreciate it. If you want to get notified when I go live, click on the bell and it will give you notifications. Like she said hi to Rita. I don't even see a Rita on here, but maybe I missed a Rita. But I don't see a Rita. So somebody's seeing a Rita, but I'm not. So thanks for joining. Okay. I might not put that one there. I might put it on the sides because the bow is actually going to go right there. You guys have any questions? Thanks. Thanks, Anne. No, it's even. On my side, it's even. Thank you for joining. Oops, almost put that one in upside down. Don't want my bunnies upside down. Thank you. 
what it was going to look like. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. You can see the colors on the last ribbon. So there's yellow, blue, pink. Sorry, I thought maybe there was a read on here. No, I'm Teresa. No problem, Connie. That's funny. <laughs> uh, uh, but sometimes that happens. Does that happen to anybody else that somebody says hi to somebody and they're not, you can't see that they're on? It happens to me all the time. It's funny. I got my rails from Craft Outlet. Have I got, I hope I didn't catch it. I better not catch it. <laughs> uh, I'll probably catch it right in time for me to be on call next weekend and then I'll be miserable. But no, I'm good. I have a pretty good immune system. Um, I don't get sick a lot. I get migraines more than anything. I think I've had strep throat once in my life. So... I don't get sick too often. Once in a while, but not very often. So guys, I am going to be getting off. I know it's not complete. Oh, thank you. We're we watching the replay. <laughs> Uh, you're going to catch the replay. Um, I, uh, I'm going to figure out what we're going to do for supper. I'm going to take some stuff to my son. So... Debating. What did I do with that one? So this ribbon here, this is for this is the bigger ribbon. 
I thought about making a um, this is big like I said this is four inch ribbon He's going the wrong other way, so let's see. Kind of a mess going on here. Alright, so I want my bunnies going the same direction there. So let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so, because I already have my tails, I'm just going to cut that off like so.
All right, so we have the same situation with this ribbon. I don't know why the cutest ribbon is always an issue, right, for upside down things. So, You know, sometimes I don't mind like I just don't want my bunnies on my things to be backwards. So let's see what this looks like. So this one's facing outward. And this one's facing outward. I'm okay with that. Hi, Sharon. There. I'm liking the bow. Tying it all together with this guy. Hi, Emma. Thanks, Rachel. I like polka dots too. I'm ready for a nap. I may take a nap before I craft anymore tonight because I. Tomorrow is no crafting. Tomorrow is business, business, business. I have to get business stuff done tomorrow. Have to, have to, have to. I'm liking that. I think we're just going to make a loop. In the center. What do you think? Just a loop? Kind of ties it all together? I am in Benelda, Illinois. That way we're not cutting off our bunnies. Let's do that. Okay. Now let's get a... I'm not going to tighten it too much because I'm going to move some loops around a little bit. And I'm going to hold it firm so I don't lose anything. That's what I'm going to attach it with. Oh, she's 
St. Charles County, Missouri. Cool. Just down the road. Hi, Tracy. There we go. Oh, yeah. Well, that'll be good. I'm looking for some warmer weather. Scissors may need to be sharpened, evidently. That's probably why somebody who does good at making a V Yeah. Crazy. So this four inch ribbon is a little bit wider. Not as easy just to do one snip for your dovetails. See, that moved. Why did that do that? Crazy. <laughs> the brush and the vacuum, huh? All right. 
so this guy is gonna go in here. I will attach that onto the rail whenever I take it off and secure everything. And basically, she's going to have this sitting back on her mailbox a little bit more. So, eyes got pulled forward so I can reach everything. even cuter once I get the embellishments on there. I bought that ribbon. I didn't realize it was this back one. I didn't realize it was four inches, but it's cute. And I'll stick it back a little further. There's that. There's something hanging in my face. There we go. Here. Hey, Debbie. Thanks for joining. You love it? Good. So, I like the ball. Well, my husband's out in the garage, so evidently he's not too terribly worried about what we're going to do. For food. <laughs> Here's the, your mailbox is old and ratty. Well, this will make your mailbox look good. Did you? I got this from Craft Outlet, I think, or Damon. I don't remember which one. All right, so let's see what we got going on here. All right, even, even, even.
uh, well, my customer that's on my live right now, she has had one for Christmas and Valentine's, and now this is her Easter one. So, and we live in Illinois. So, I would say they hold up okay. Um, depends on what you want it to do, I guess, you know. you think I said I still have to put some glue in there to hold them in this is like the bunny butt hi Simba it gets tons and tons of wind yeah this person came on a little later so they probably didn't see your comment all right so what do you think oh my gosh I think it's a cute I love it. <laughs> it is cute. I agree with that. I'm so I'm super excited about it. Super super excited. All right, you guys have any questions? I'm going to have to take pictures of this thing. I think it's cute from what I can see. I love it. I love it. Thanks, Simba. All right, guys. I think we've been on here for almost two hours. So, you know, takes a while. So, anyway. All right, guys. Thanks, to everybody, for joining me. I totally, really, really appreciate it. Again, don't forget that there is a King Sumo out there. I'm going to see if I can find the link and post it again. Hi, Sheena. Thanks, and I appreciate that. You're on your way. <laughs> well, I don't want you to have to make two trips, dear. So let's let me get the the base pieces done, and then you can come and get it. Okay. Thanks, Sharon. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Maggie. I think it turned out super cute as well. I'm super excited about it. I wish I had a mailbox. You're kidding. <laughs> we'll get it. Um, you may have to pick it up from Cloyd because, like I said, I'm working next weekend. So, but he'll be here. Um, so, we'll have to make a, a arrangements for you to get your stuff next weekend. So, that's all right. It, you can watch the replay. It's out there. Oh my! What's that? So anyway. All right, guys. Thanks, everybody, for joining. I totally appreciate it. Don't forget to bless my page and uh, my YouTube channel, Wreath Addiction RN. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night. Okay, that's fine. It's You know I'm here whenever you are, Lynn. Whenever it works for you. All right, you guys have a great day. Bye.